this video we're going to generate a module and a form with the help of the Drupal console. We're going to use the Drupal console that comes with the Composer Create Drupal project. We're going to first generate a module and then we're going to generate a form with a route in it. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and if we jump to the Aqua Dev Desktop and open the terminal from there and if we ls here we see that we are in the web folder but since we have this set up with the help of the composer create drupal project if we go back and open the vendor bin drupal this way we are accessing the drupal console project and the interesting command that I wanted to show you is generate module. So let's go ahead and run Drupal console generate module. Hit enter. And there as always would be a wizard. So enter the module name. We're going to call it Danville for the mascot Drupal Dan. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And the module machine name Danville looks perfect. And the module would be in modules custom. That's perfect. So for a description, I'm going to say a simple Danville module. Hit enter package custom is ok, Drupal core version is ok, do you want to generate a .module file? We don't need it but let's go ahead and say yes, define module as feature, no we don't need that, do you want to add a composer JSON? Let's not add, we don't need that, do you want to add a module dependency? So no dependency we don't have at the moment. Do you want to generate unit test? No, no unit test. And teamable template, we don't need that. And do you want to proceed with the operation? So this would generate everything. That looks good. So it generated these files for us and in general, it's 29 lines. Let's open our code editor. And as we see in our Drupal code base under modules custom, there is already a folder called Danville. That's actually the module. And Drupal console generated for us a info.yml file, which looks perfect and it also generated for us a .module file with hook help integrated. That looks quite okay. So at this point we might have a look also at the Drupal console generate form. That's a very interesting command. Let's go ahead and run simply Drupal console and let's search for generate form. That's the one I wanted to show you. So let's run now Drupal console generate form, hit enter and there will be a wizard again. So enter the module name we're going to generate the form in our module that we just generated. So down the view, there is a really nice autocomplete here. Enter the form class. So let's say done form. This would be the form class name and it would also generate the PHP file and everything for us. So enter a form ID done form looks okay do you want to load services so if we put here the services machine names it would 
do a dependency injection for us and let us have those services to use them in our form but we don't need that right now do you want to generate a config file we don't need a config file do you want to generate a form structure yes that's something that's interesting so we see here the available types of form fields something that i wanted to show you is a text area so let's say text area that's perfect input label so we would say something like an opinion box so let's say your opinion input machine name your opinion that looks okay your opinion is important for us please share it default value we don't have wait for the input item is zero that's okay we would like to add another field afterwards let's go ahead and add a email field it would be an email input machine name email looks okay description is okay if there isn't we're going to say the weight of the email would be one so that we make sure that it would appear after the text area so hit enter and press return to stop adding fields we don't need other fields it would add also a submit field it also asks us if we want to generate a root path for our form let's go with something slightly different so down will is nice but let's put opinion at the end hit enter and it looks like there was a nasty error but actually it generated everything so let's jump to the code editor and let's have a look what Drupal console generated for us so if we go under SRC we see that there is already a folder form and the done form is actually here it generated everything really nicely it generated a namespace the exactly correct namespace that we would have added it generated a class called done form that extends the form base here sets the form id and here we have a build form with all the fields that we added so the your opinion text area with weight zero so the email with weight one and maybe we should also add here for the submit weight two so that we are sure that the submit would be at the very bottom it also added a validate form and this is really nice a submit form where it for reaches all the values and shows them in a drupal set message so in a green message at the top that's really nice for debugging and we also see that it generated for us a routing yaml file with the path that we specified that's perfect so let's go ahead and jump to our drupal instance and let's activate the module that we just generated so done view there it is let's go ahead and install it and as it's installed let's go to the path that we generated that looks perfect so we have our custom module and we have our form here for it so drupal console is 
great that's our opinion and our email and let's go ahead and submit it submitting and as I told you we see everything here at the top in a really nice message so that's pretty much it if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching